In this video, I'm going to go over PowerPoint 2010. As soon as you open PowerPoint 2010, this is what you will see. On the very top, you'll see these menus like File, Home, Insert, Design, and those are also referred to as the tabs of the Office ribbon. In Office 2007 and 2010, the Office ribbon was one of the new features that was added. And particularly in Office 2010, the file option was added again to the application. Notice under Office 2010 here or in PowerPoint 2010, we also have the options are under the file drop down. The different tabs here in the ribbon, they contain different sets or groupings of functions or commands. And the idea is that uh, you, the most commonly used functions and commands are located in the Home tab. And then as you make progress in your presentation, then you go and use the other tabs, such as for inserting components, you go under the Insert tab. But then if you're going to change the design of your presentation, you go under the Design tab. As you go through this, these tabs, notice that there are different sections and groupings together. And under each grouping here, you can even expand it further and it will show you a dialog box. For example, for formatting text, you can click on this expansion icon here in the bottom right of the section. And then it will display further options. On the left hand side, this is where you'll see a preview of the different slides. For example, here is a slideshow with multiple slides here. So you have a preview of all the different slides. On the right hand side, this is where the actual slide will be displayed. Right below the slide, for each specific one, you'll have a section where you can enter notes. And the entering the notes comes in handy if you're going to do a presentation in front of a large group and you want to write down specific details that you do not want to present to the audience. Those notes, you can print them out on paper and hold on to them. Or there is an option to use multiple monitor displays when you're presenting it. And you can use what's called the presenter view. That shows the full screen for the audience. So the audience just sees this, your slides. But for you yourself, you can have a, a small preview of the PowerPoint itself or the slide itself along with the notes. So on the very left hand side here on the bottom, you have then the number of slides in this particular slideshow, what type of design you're using, and as far as the theme, and then you have the different views. So this, for example, here is the normal view. The next one over, it's the slide sorter view. So this is the slide sorter view. The slide sorter allows you to rearrange your slides so you don't have to copy and paste them. You can just move them from one end, uh, from one area to the other. So all you have to do is basically click on it and then you should be able to just drag it over. And then finally here on the far right hand side, you have the slideshow. This is how you can start your slideshow to present it to the audience. This will start from the option number or from the very first slide in your slideshow. Another way is to start the slideshow is by pressing F5 key or by clicking on slideshow and then choose from the beginning or from the current slot. Let's go back to a normal view here. And I'll explain one more thing before we get started with how to create a presentation from scratch. So notice on the normal view, like I said earlier, we have the different previews for each slide. However, there is also this outline option here. And the outline, this is, and this is what I'd recommend, is that you create your presentation, your slideshow presentation in the outline mode first, because it is very easy to get stuck with different choosing colors or themes or modifying the formatting and the text and so on. And you have not gotten very far with your presentation. So it's best to do the outline first. And if you're going to choose to do the outline first, the easy way is to go under the outline tab here. And of course, you can insert a slide by just, for example, 
that's our first slide by just simply typing the text here and of course you can insert a new slide by clicking on new slide and you choose a type of new slide that you want to insert however the easier way to do it is to go under the outline mode and once we insert the first slide control enter so control enter will insert a new slide and then you can either click here to get to the bullet list or if you are directly on this area here you can do control enter and it will enter the bullets now if we want to insert a new slide of course we could use the drop down here from the home tab or we could do control m or we can do actually control enter control enter again control enter will insert a new slide so you get the idea the easy way to do this is to just do the outline first go through the whole outline and create the text and then you can go back to slides here and you have something to show for yourself so at this point we could press f5 to present it or we could press slideshow here and we are ready to present it so that's one of the ways to get started here with our slideshow and these are the different components on using powerpoint 2010